I would like to welcome all of you to John the Mouse University. I am your professor, John the Mouse. Now at this high class university, we will be learning lots. And as students of this university, I expect you to engage in the comment section and to use your thumbs up button. Hello everyone today. I got a special guest for you today. Mr. Harper is gonna be talking about BitConnect and I will link his channel down below. BitConnect, one of 1,400 cryptocurrencies announced the end to their lending program on January 16, 2018. The program lasted for a year. And these 10 bloggers generated over 3,500 visits per hour. To put that in perspective, PewDiePie generates over 1.9 million visits per hour. BitConnect offered a unique debt opportunity, raised capital for short-term loans, and was very successful. The early adopters produced their own content, developed audiences on their own dime, and were richly rewarded with affiliate commissions. Many bloggers started playing video games online and learned how to use transparency to develop credibility with their audiences. Let's look at two of the best. Dr. Roy Murphy, an MIT PhD in his mid-40s, and Crypto Merck, a 17-year-old blogger, have two things in common. They put their pants on one leg at a time, and they were successful Bitcoin bloggers. Let's look at their strategies. Crypto Nick produced 85 times more content than Dr. Murphy, generated 15 times more visits and eight times more subs. Dr. Murphy, on the other hand, converted twice as many visits to subs, three times as many subs, 10 times more visits to loans, and his loans were three times larger than crypto mix. At the end of the day, he won. You may be surprised with the answer. Both. They made six-figure earnings in less than 12 months of Bitcoin experience. YouTube content is unregulated, unedited, and unaudited. And bloggers use provocative, sensational headlines to capture subs, and anything goes. These popular BitConnect bloggers lost 30% of their subs after the lending platform was terminated. They raised $68 million for the company. Bloggers are actors that write their own scripts, they publish their own content, they designed to reach their own goals and not yours. Let's see how the cast performed. Above union wages. The cast raised over 68 million US dollars and made on average $480,000 in commissions plus the interest on their gigs. After the fat lady sings, the order changed. There were two increases and eight declines, proving again the 80-20 rule. BitConnect terminated the lending program for over one and a half million accounts and converted the U.S. dollars to BitConnect coins on January 16, 2018. Dr. Roy Murphy produced 48 30-minute YouTube videos that were well-organized, edited, informative on his website, which was called BitConnect, and used their logo. He provided credibility to the platform. The process required many steps, and bloggers made YouTube videos to explain the process to their affiliates with promises of help. These 10 bloggers produced content on their own dime that generated affiliate commissions which were over 90% of their total earnings. So let's look at the facts. 
The bloggers are color-coded by age. I think you'll find this interesting. The young have six times more YouTube experience and use provocative strategies like claiming being hacked to create the buzz. I don't know how Craig Grant got started, but when he did, the multi-level marketing program was unlimited, and he told Trayvon James, who and sent $100 to Crypto Nick, who told Ryan Hilgreth, who told Tanner J. Fox, and I assume they were all affiliates under, Cra under Trayvon James and Craig Grant at the 10% level. They did well. The young generated 10 times more visits and they used giveaway and ad words to attract affiliates. Crypto Nick was the most transparent, and Roy Murphy was the most informative. Let's look at their journeys. The journeys were documented on their YouTube videos as proof statements before they removed them. Luckily, I captured it. The earnings guesses are based on Crypto Nick's loan to visits ratio, but Jedi Knight and Roy Murphy have actual data. They didn't do bad. Class action lawsuits have been, uh, it is rumored that class action lawsuits have been issued for some of the U.S. promoters. These BitConnect bloggers are like Timex watches. They took a ticking, but a licking, but they're still ticking. BitConnect decreased 98% over the last 12 months. Bitcoin decreased 47% over the last 12 months. The BitConnect model had many moving parts, and blogger justification was they've never missed an interest payment. Red flags were waved and ignored by the lenders. Roy Murphy made over 40 YouTube videos explaining the platform, and Daryl Round made 11 YouTube videos explaining the process. They both were excellent. And over 1.5 million lenders heard the disclaimers, ignored the red flags, because they love the flavor of the Kool-Aid. Today, so far, five of the ten bloggers are in a class action suit. I observed the price for the last three months and noted that U.S. Director Glenn Arcaro delisted his YouTube videos in December of 2017 when the price was making a 52-week high. That's normally a red flag when insiders sell at the top or the bottom. I noted it, but did not realize the significance because I was drinking the Kool-Aid too. Assume the BitConnect Audit and Finance Committee and Grant Thornton, their outside auditors, reviewed the proposal to end the lending program before the January announcement. That's reasonable. It was a $50 billion program. During the 209-day term prior to the announcement, BCC coins increased in market value. Now, I served as the chairman of the Audit and Finance Committees for both public and private companies, and I assume these are some of the talking points that must have come up in that meeting. Of course, I have to use anecdotal data, but they would have used real numbers, but I am using real math think you might find this interesting. The BCC price a month before closing was $457. 209 days before it was $57. They had very healthy gross margins and I assume this was a very happy meeting. Nine months before closing, these promoters raised over 70 million U.S. dollars for BitConnect. 
They were handsomely paid for their efforts. Let's drill down on three of the top performers. Trayvon James and Crypto Nick used ad words and giveaways for their audiences. Many of their subs are teenagers that visit the sites just for the opportunity to, to, rent, to win the free coins. Roy Murphy, on the other hand, used organized edited YouTube videos to generate the highest visit to loan ratio of the 10 promoters that I was observing. Roy did not use giveaways. Instead, he played the role of an expert, an MIT Sloan School PhD, a hired hand for BitConnect, even used their logo and colors on his YouTube site, and he was very, very convincing. These promoters generated over 24,000 daily visits and earned on average over $4,700 per day for the gig. Not bad work if you can get it. When the performance ended, the promoters seemed surprised by the breaking news. And so far, five of the promoters are named in the class action suit. They are the U.S. promoters that perhaps did not understand the word of compliance. Since the fat lady sang, some promoters have folded their tents and are looking for the next gig. This is the 15th day since BitConnect stopped the lending program and every day a new shoe drops. Let me explain. The buzz is gone. The affiliates blame the promoters and some are taking legal action. The price for BitConnect is under $7. What's going on? So far, 50% of these promoters are in class action suits. Some have left and some have stayed. Let's look at the details. The Florida class action suit revealed loans on average of $128,500 for 120 days. I wonder if the model would support that. And I discovered through my analysis that as long as the price is above $126, assuming all the funds were withdrawn instead of reinvested, the model works. Bloggers are actors that develop their own characters, write their own, and produce their own content for audience development. Let's make a few awards. Most popular, two candidates, Crypto Chick, who developed over 800,000 visits in 80 days from 11 videos, and Crypto In, who developed over 9 million visits in 1,300 days with 400 videos. And the winner is Crypto Chick, fastest out of the box. Best foreign performance. Two candidates, Roy Murphy, a clever with his character development of an MIT professor, an IT expert that had worked for Amazon. And his 30-minute videos were excellent. And Darren Round, who played a middle-aged regular bloke, had the highest visit-to-sub ratio. And the winner is Roy Murphy. Roy is unable to receive the award at this time. He's traveling between gigs. And the best U.S. performance. U.S. Director Glenn Arcaro, traveling abroad. Craig Grant and Trayvon James, BitConnect millionaires, living large. And the winner is Glenn Arcaro, number one on the multi-level marketing program. Let's look at the performance of the BitConnect promoters in retrospect. The 52-week price action is a frame of reference. BitConnect promoters were good at their craft. I've learned valuable lessons from their accomplishments.
Let me explain. Bloggers developed goals, roles, storylines for audience development, and their success was measured by their earnings. Here are my top 10 and their storylines and roles as they define them. All successful. They use different strategies and skills to attract traffic. You can always tell an affiliate blogger because they ask for likes, subs, clicks for links containing their affiliate codes. The Young Bulls produced six times more videos, 16 times more traffic because of their giveaways, and many of their subs are 12 to 16 years old looking for freebies. The old bulls used experience to wax and don't give anything away. Roy Murphy is a whale fisherman among the old bulls. Let me explain. Roy developed 22 hours of content, whale bait, earned $895,000 for 125 days of work. How good was he? Twice as good as the young bulls. Another old bull versus young bull story. Glenn Ocaro, U.S. director, traveling abroad now, used Craig Grant and Trayvon James, BitConnect millionaires, by their own accounting, that flash their wealth and are living large as a strategy. They formed the top of the triangle. And Glenn added affiliates who added affiliates who added affiliates, families and friends, and over, at over 5,000 per day for the 293 days. And up to one and a half million people were in the deal when the fat lady sang and the lending program ended. Was it a pyramid scheme? You tell me. In the United States, the proxy state and audited financial statements are the best sources for due diligence to compare facts to make a trading decision. BitConnect speculators drank the Kool-Aid and were mesmerized by the silver-throated promoters that underestimated their own reach when they created the buzz. The internet provides peer-to-peer -peer decentralized global trading to anyone with a device signal and power. Promoters are independent consultants that develop their own characters, write their own scripts, publish their own content, risk the cost of production for audience development. And for some, it's not their first rodeo. These promoters reached over 30 million views in 10 months, and now six of the 10 have folded their tents when the fat lady sang. After the lending program ended, the cast split into two groups. There were unanticipated consequences, and the U.S. promoters were named in class action suits in several states, much to their surprise. YouTube content is unedited, unaudited, and unregulated, except when it comes to SEC compliance. Today, four out of the ten are still active, and Trayvon James and Ryan H. are recovering. Tanner J. Fox and Darren Round increased after the fat lady sang. Let's drill down to understand the experience levels of Trayvon James and Ryan H. since they're giving technical advice. You must always understand a blogger's experience if you are going to take their advice. The top BitConnect promoters lost over 50% of their traffic in 22 days. 
These blockers have different ages, education, and experience levels. Let's look at each promoter through the lens of their YouTube experiences. Tanner J. Fox is 21 year old, 7,665 days. He's been on YouTube for 3,042. That's 40% of the days on Earth with YouTube experience. And he experienced an increase in his traffic. Guess he knows what he's doing. Craig Grant, the promoter with the most BitConnect experience, has moved on to his next gig. Folded his tents. Crypto Nick, perhaps grounded, erased his YouTube content, which is like shaving off warts. Rhino M, not sure whether to fish or cut bait. Ryan Hilgriff, took a licking, is still ticking. Trayvon James, took a licking, is now playing to a different base. Jedi Knight, not sure whether to fish or cut bait. Roy Murphy, played us all like a violin, has moved his content and has moved on to his next gig. Darren Round, one of the prom promoters with an increase in traffic, keeping the rule, the 80-20 rule alive. And Crypto Chick, the fastest promoter out of the gate, is now laying low. Not sure whether to fish or cut bait. So far, lessons learned. Be careful of the advice that you take from anyone on YouTube. These BitConnect top performers, young and old, have two things in common. They put their pants on one leg at a time, and they all start their pumps with disclaimers. And you should believe them. And that's the only advice you should take from promoters. There are five promoters today that are in class action suits. Three have folded their tents and moved to other gigs. And two are still pumping their subs. BitConnect is one of several crypto lending programs to abruptly stop in the last 12 months. Reminds me of the game Musical Chairs, except here, the insiders are playing the music. I found BitConnect confusing until I discovered Roy Murphy, the only promoter that could explain the complexities of the platform. Roy made 44 YouTube videos and earned over $800,000 for his five-month performances. He was one of the first to fold his tents, perhaps because this was not his first rodeo. Crypto Nick was the youngest at 17. He raised his content right after Roy Murphy. Or maybe he was grounded. He did okay, though. Craig Grant delisted, moved on to other gigs after disclosing his winnings, a trait gamers do for bragging rights. It's also a clue that the game is almost over. Trayvon James and Ryan Hilgrith are still pumping their subs. Their motto, if you find a sucker, lick it. If you still listen to bloggers for your financial advice, at least check their YouTube experience, because at the end of the day, that's what most of their advice is based on. Trust me on that. I have a what-if for you. If you're interested, use the date you first joined BitConnect for a loan and back-check the data using historic prices. You may be surprised at the results. I did it. I picked five cryptos under a dollar in the top 50 by market cap on November 24th, 2017. Here are the results of paper trading the three strategies. It was a roller coaster ride. But at the end of the day, the watch list was the 80-day winner. 
Here's the watch list. Up 69% in 80 days. Lessons learned. Keep your own counsel. Use professionals. You know these things. Cryptos are less than 10 years old. Market cap is over $400 billion for 1,523 cryptos in 8,715 markets. Therefore, learn a process that produces more wins and losses and eat your own cooking. I discovered that BitConnect on YouTube and did not know the difference in a talking head and a promoter. Promoters are bloggers that include a disclaimer in their YouTube videos. Believe them. And that's the only financial advice you should take from them. Lesson learned. Use four YouTube facts. You can find them on socialblade.com to rank bloggers before using their advice. All bloggers publish content to develop audiences. Do your own due diligence on the bloggers if you plan to use their content for anecdotal or financial advice. BitConnect promoters used FUD, FOMO, Fear of Left Behind, Sensational Headlines. They pulled out all of the stops for audience development, monetization, and affiliate commissions. And they did pretty well. Talking Heads use their content for audience development. They may use visits and ask for likes and subs and click on affiliate links because they put their pants on one leg at a time just like the blockers. So check them as well. Promoters convert almost two times as many subs as the talking heads because they pump the sites. Talking heads have more experience and traffic, but less conversions than the promoters. Rank your promoters by percentage of conversion, it's visits to sub, to reveal the quality of their content. You can do the same for the talking heads, and it's close enough for government work. Here's my summary. Lesson learned. Bloggers are interested in audience development measured by visits, likes, subs. Learn as much as you can learn about each one of them that you follow. Bitcoin and BitConnect are two of over 1,500 cryptos that were volatile. BitConnect had a trading bot that traded on the Bitcoin volatility on their website as BitConnect coins. Or as the story goes, the BitConnect storyline was brilliant and over one and a half million people were caught as efficiently as the Venus flytrap catches a fly. I listened to YouTube videos, I downloaded spreadsheets, I tried to figure it out on my own, and I found it convoluted and difficult to understand until I discovered Dr. Roy Murphy and Darren Round. Roy Murphy published 44 videos, over 22 hours of edited, organized content to develop his character a family man in his mid-forties with a wife, kids, invest in loans in the platform for his father-in-law, an MIT PhD and a publisher, a developer, an IT expert. He used the BitConnect name, colors, and logo, implying he consulted for the company. He sold his spreadsheet pumped other affiliate links from his website, answered questions, scaled his traffic, and was well on his way to 
scamming us all until the end. Darren Round, on the other hand, made 11 videos, three hours of content, of how-to videos that were crystal clear to get you started. He played the role of a 46-year-old regular bloke. They were both excellent. Well done, chaps. The loans paid daily interest that fluctuated and did not correlate to the price. However, Dr. Roy's YouTube videos explained all of that in great detail, and his spreadsheet projections put a smile on my face every time I listened to the melodic voice of the silver-throated devil. These BitConnect promoters are excellent in branding. They used provocative, sensational clickbait and went on top of the pyramid that earned millions by their own accounting, and they flaunted it. Trayvon James and Craig Grant were perfect at this. Craig disclosed his trading account after the fat lady sang, and there was over $500,000 as promotional expenses to promote the content. Today, six of the ten bloggers claim to have made over $8 million in commissions for the six months. Keep in mind, this is unaudited data and may be as accurate as Dr. Roy's resume. I did my due diligence and listened to YouTube videos because the best surprise is no surprise. And when the surprise happened, I realized that Underdog, the big connect promoters, was really shoeshine boy, actors writing their own scripts. The multi-level marketing program was changed four times in 2017. The market cap adjustment was made and explained as being nothing by the BitConnect promoters. And the BitConnect promoters earned over 90% of their total earnings from commissions. Here are the lessons learned. Here's what I plan to do. Paper trade to learn about cryptos. Join a website to simulate trade to learn the platform and trade based on my own experiences. Thank you. By the way, these bloggers never missed a stroke. They're still in business with new websites, new products to pump to their subs. This was not their first, nor will it be their last rodeo. They're in their 20s. These bloggers were well paid for promoting loans to over 30 million visitors, family, and friends claimed they were as surprised as the one and a half million people who received pennies on their capital investment. These amounts are from the blogger's websites. Buyer beware. By comparing bits and pieces of anecdotal data from their YouTube videos before they were deleted, here's what I learned in retrospect. The promoter, promoters produced over 2,500 YouTube videos in 277 days, starting with Craig Grant at the USA. They raised over $175 million in U.S. loans for the BitConnect company. And they received over $10 million in affiliates commissions 
for an estimated 40,000 loans, if you can believe these bloggers. From June 1st, 2017 until January 15, 2018, BitConnect performance seemed too good to be true before the insiders split. And over one and a half million people invested in short-term BitConnect loans, and the company raised billions of U.S. dollars for an average cost of capital of about seven and a half percent affiliate commission. Not bad for those scammers. I've listed certain milestone events for a deeper understanding of what the fact happened in retrospect. And I've posted these events in a ledger, which I call the Milestone Ledger, for richer understanding. performance was spectacular. And the bloggers waxed about never missing a payment. Today, the insiders have disappeared, leaving five U.S. bloggers to face the U.S. courts and the SEC for promoting alleged pump and dump schemes. That'll be unfolding this month. Craig Grant stated, blogging is entertainment in one of his recent videos, and here is proof that he was correct. To my utter amazement, these five bloggers still have a third of their original subscriptions, subscribers, 55 days after the fat lady sang. It's got to be entertainment. Socialblade.com and compute the subs per day ratio as a screening tool before listening to the blogger's content to determine if they add value. The promoters for BitConnect use clickbait to maximize affiliate commissions, and they had on average 120 subs per day. But they were uninformed of the SEC rules and regulations and they flooded the market with FOMO and FUD. After completing six months of due diligence based on anecdotal data, I was able to convert dollars to pennies. Got my butt kicked. BitConnect price opened at 14 cents on January 17, 2017, closed at 85 cents on April 1, 2018. And this is not an April Fool's joke. Bitcoin price opened at $895 on January 17, 2017 closed at 6,344 on April 1st, 2018. Both cryptos reflecting the volatility common in the altcoin market. Now, let's look at the popular YouTube promoters for these cryptos. See how they've done. The 80-20 rule lives. According to socialblade.com for the last 30 days, 80% of the Bitcoin promoters lost subs, 20% added subs. Guess who? All of these Bitcoin talking heads are still waxing and pontificating added subs for the last 30 days. Very interesting. Finally, let's compare five facts for Bitcoin Connect and Bitcoin in retrospect. Because as we know, retrospective vision is always 2020. Timing is the key to success.
Finally, let's compare the last chapter for BitConnect has not been written yet. Stay tuned because the crypto is trading for less than a dollar on April 2nd, 2008. As I recall, one of BitConnect directors was from Hollywood, California. And that made me think about BitConnect as a performance instead of an investment opportunity. Let's look at it through that lens. BitConnect loans played for a year. They ended a successful season for the insiders and left the audience in shock and awe, asking the quintessential question, Ponzi scheme a fact? Think of the bloggers as actors that developed their own roles and personas, wrote their own scripts, produced their own content for audience development, published their own proof statements for advertising for affiliates. And the youngest and the oldest bloggers were the most transparent about their earnings. Sounds like Hollywood. Some bloggers were BitConnect promoters. Others developed content on their own dime. The box office raised $68 million for short-term loans in a clever strategy that mitigated equity volatility risk and created the buzz. Sounds like a plot. The average loan was about $4,033 for a 209-day gig until the fat lady sang. Let's look at the details. 31 million views, 630,000 subs, 60,000 affiliates, 14,000 loans, $68 million capital raised for a 5.5% commission. Not a bad deal. Learning to trade cryptos is tricky if you're new to the game and social media. This cast had over 30 million views for the season. Over 645,000 subscribed. They liked the content. Over 60,000 drank the Kool-Aid and made the loans. They loved the flavor and told family and friends and some are still in the house, even after the fat lady has sung. Lessons learned in the land of the blind, the one-eyed code. Therefore, know the process before you put skin in the game. BitConnect is considered a scam or a Ponzi scheme. But as long as BCC is trading, and the last time I looked, it was $2.96 per coin. In reality, it's a buying opportunity. Or it may turn out to be a bad investment. Finally, keep your own counsel. Use professionals to confirm your financial observations. Learn to paper trade and observe price. And practice it until you get it. Then you're ready to put skin in the game. Just for fun, I picked seven cryptos on my own to compare the Bitcoin pumped by talking heads, and BitConnect pumped by promoters to see how I would fear. I think you might find the results interesting. And you can do the same thing. And simply back test your results for any point in time. The watch list has outperformed Bitcoin and BitConnect. Demonstrates the importance of diversification in a volatile altcoin asset class. Of course, retrospective vision is always 2020. But the watch list spreads the risk over seven cryptocurrencies, trading for less than a dollar in the top 50 market cap to mitigate the all eggs in one basket risk. That's no guarantee. BitConnect at one time was trading in the top 20 in market cap.
But this is the approach I'm going to take in the future. For there are over 1,500 cryptocurrencies. If you assume 20 are scams, that's 1%. And due diligence should always be performed to mitigate operator error, but it does not reveal fraud. And you should practice paper trading it until you get your routine. It took a forensic analyst in retrospect to uncover Roy Murphy as a shill. And taking advice from actors is like taking medical advice from Gray's Anatomy. Thank you. All information provided in John the Mouse University is provided for information purposes only. John the Mouse University does not necessarily agree with every expert that comes on to give speeches at this fine university. We put a reasonable effort to present accurate information at John the Mouse University, but makes no guarantee of any kind. As you leave this university for the day, you will come across the tip jar. By no means does this mean you have to fill it up. If you like the information that you have received here today, I would encourage you to share this with everyone you know. I will be here for your next class.